Fantastic. Um, could we just talk a little bit about how you would transfer from the seated position into your wheelchair, which would normally be beside the bed, yes. I assume. And is, is it fair to say that um, because the bed rises vertically, rather than tipping you forward, that's actually really quite important? Um, absolutely essential for me. When I first had the bed, um, as I mentioned, I still was able to do a bit of stand and transfer. So I would just raise the bed a little bit to make me a little bit higher than the wheelchair yeah. so I could move into it. Now, because my legs just don't work, um, I've adopted a, uh, a different approach which works for me, which is I raise the bed actually quite a lot. I, I demonstrate quite how high I would raise it. Uh, I would actually walk my legs down. The wheelchair comes in. I would bring the, the bed probably up to this sort of level. Mm -hmm. So the wheelchair is at the lower level. I bring the legs completely in. Okay. Wheelchair in tight. And then, because I'm at this height, I can then slide myself off onto the wheelchair. Okay. I think if it tipped me forward, um, because of the lack of upper body control that I've got, uh, I, my, I would literally just fall forward. I would fall on, yeah. my, on my face on the floor. So the important thing here, of course, is that you know, your situation has changed because typically with a neurological condition, it is progressive. Yes. And you've benefited more, perhaps, from the fact that the bed vertically lifts as things have progressed and become more difficult. Now. Absolutely, undoubtedly. Because then the risks increase as well. Yeah. The potential um, for falling. Yeah. It's, I mean, I can, if I'm in my wheelchair and if I lean, lean forward and I haven't got my balance absolutely right, I can tip out of my wheelchair. Yeah. So anything that was going to push me forward would increase that risk. Okay. So, no, it's, it's much safer for me, I think. And for getting onto the bed, then obviously you're having to shuffle to get yourself into a seated position. Yes. And this means that the depth of the seat becomes very important for you. Yes, the, um, the depth of the seat is, is particularly important actually for the getting out of the bed probably. Getting okay. onto the bed, I will bring the wheelchair up alongside, I will bump shuffle on and then I will use the, the, the multiple functions that the bed has got, the fact that the back can go down, legs can come up, um, I can use these buttons here to get the whole thing doing it, doing all of that as a single movement. All of that enables me to get myself into the position such that I can then twist all around and get into bed. The critical thing for me in the mornings when I'm getting out of bed is I have to make sure I am nice and tight with my bottom as far back into the the crook of the seat yeah. here as possible, so that when I do bring these legs down, I'm not sitting precariously on the side of the bed. Yes. I'm in a position You're where I am. You're supported by the backrest. I'm supported by yeah. the back, supported here. If I couldn't have that support, then I would slide off, I mean, yeah. because I literally have no body control. Mm. Okay, thank you.